we're going to make chocolate pretzel cookies. So let's get started. First you want to start off with a large bowl and you're going to start off with a quarter cup of unsalted butter that's been softened or at room temperature. We're also going to add a quarter of a cup of vegetable shortening. You're also going to put a half a cup of brown sugar. Now you can do this by hand or you can do it with your hand mixer. But I'm going to move it along here for the video. So just start to cream those together in your bowl on high speed. And the next thing that you're going to put in is actually a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now once you do that, you're going to put in two large eggs that have been at room temperature. And just pick up your speed on your mixer and blend this all together on high. I'm going to clean the sides of my bowl. Blend it together, get all the lumps out. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. Next, you're going to need six tablespoons of baking uh, cocoa into your bowl and you're going to need two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now if you don't want to use the uh, baking cocoa and you want to use unsweetened chocolate, you're going to be using two squares of unsweetened chocolate. But I really like to use the uh, baking cocoa because I don't have to melt it, I don't have to wait till it cools down and that type of thing. So now I'm just Blending it together. And I'm going to clean the sides of my bowl and get to the bottom. And I'm going to show you what this looks like so far. And it's going to look like this. It's a nice chocolate batter. These cookies are really easy to make and quick, very quick to put the recipe together. The next thing that you're going to do, you're going to put in slowly, is two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. So just start blending that in a little at a time on medium. Raise your speed as the cookie dough starts to get thick and heavy. Now I'm going to turn it on high. Working that flour in. Again, I'm trying to move this along for the video. That was the rest of the flour. It's going to become quite thick at this point. Just stay with it. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. And then you're going to put just a dash of uh, salt. Okay. Once that cookie dough becomes pretty difficult to move, you might want to start using actually your hands to form the dough. I just want to get the all the flour and the ingredients on off the sides of the bowl and I'm going to show you it becomes very thick because it's become actually a thick dough at this point. So you can actually see I'm going to lift it with my hands to show you how very thick it is. Now the best way to treat this is to uh, put some uh, plastic wrap on top of your bowl and put this in the refrigerator for about an hour so that it's uh, easier for you to work with. 
So I did some actually ahead of time so that I could show you what it looks like once it's refrigerated and it's cool. And it's going to really look like this. This is just a, a small sample of the dough that I've made uh, once it's been refrigerated because it's so much easier for you to handle it. What you're going to do once the dough has been refrigerated, you, it's going to be very easy for you to handle. Take about the size of a walnut or a little bit bigger and just roll it between your fingers and then on top of your counter and you want to actually form this for about maybe 8 to 10 inches and once you do that I'm going to just shorten that up a little bit you're going to loop it, tuck it under and then you're going to put it actually on a cookie tray that you've sprayed so again just take a little larger than a walnut and roll it out. If you want to roll it a little bit longer, you can go to 10 inches or 8 inches. Just tuck your ends under and space them apart a good 2 inches apart because they're going to expand a little bit as they bake. You're going to put these at 350 degrees and these cookies are going to take anywhere from 11 to 12 minutes. So start checking them around 9 or 10 minutes. But again, just crisscross your dough, put one end under the top, the other end under the other, and just lay it on your tray. And bake them at 350, once again, for about 11 to 12 minutes. Now when they come out, I have baked them ahead of time. I want to show you, but before, I almost forgot, you're going to take some egg white and beat it, and with a brush, you're going to take that egg white and you're just going to cover the tops of the cookies. This is going to give the cookie a shine so it, it resembles a pretzel. And then you're going to take some coarse sugar and you're just going to sprinkle that on top of the cookie pretzels before you put them in the oven. Now when they come out, they're going to look like this. So you've made your own cookie pretzel cookies. Give this recipe a try. I hope you like this one. And if you do, let me know. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe.